Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel about the in and out tennis device. Today we want to test the new version of the in out tennis device with three cameras, paired with a second net device, both with the newest software under real mesh conditions. To make the test really challenging, we recorded a set between two players who play a pretty fast ball with an average service speed of 92 miles per hour. The results have been evaluated using the Panda Tennis Statistics program. This program uses the in and out data and produces it automatically without manual interference very detailed statistics for service, return and rally, detailed graphics and video reviews of the set. In order to achieve a high accuracy, the program detects any errors or inconsistencies of the data and reports if it was able to correct them. The result we are seeing on the data quality report of the program. The biggest challenge for InOut is the service. InOut made a lot of progress, but the result is not yet perfect. As you can see, in five cases, the service is just not detected. This doesn't happen at lower speed. One ball was not recognized as service, and two missing balls were classified wrongly as service. And in three cases, the system confused at and equal court. The Panda program, however, was able to correct all these inconsistencies. For rally and return, the result looked much better. Only two errors were detected, of which one was automatically corrected. In out has seen the ball in, but it was out. This is a perfect result, except for the fact that six shots were not recorded at all for whatever reason. The accuracy of in and out is also increased by the third camera of the new net device. Now balls in the net are also recorded as you can see here. Both players play two balls in the net. If we now look at the overall accuracy, we see that 99% of the rally and return shots were correct. And more importantly, for the points which are made with balls close to the line, only one was corrected. What does this altogether mean for the in-out signals during a match? For the service, the system would have signaled four times wrongly out. That means it would be better if for the service no signals would appear. For the return and during the rally in this set no wrong signals appeared. Only at the end of the rally once out was not signaled. Based on these results, how can in out be best used for a tennis match with the current restrictions? Two net devices are an absolutely must. A single net device produces up to 10 times as much errors. The calibration should show at least four stars at both sides. You should check for both net devices, preferable on a large screen of a tablet, that the green lines cover the white lines of the court. If not, adjust the device and repeat the calibration. As long as it is not possible to switch off signals for the service, all signals should be switched off. At the end of the rally, close balls to the line can be reviewed, preferable on the large screen of your tablet. If you use the newest software and follow these advices, in out can be an optimal companion for your tennis matches. If you are interested to get statistics like the professionals, contact panda tennis statistics at gmail.com.